Evan. Evan All right, here we go. So I noticed uh, in this tournament, uh, Evan likes to start off like the first match with Corn, and then from there on, depending on the matchup, he'll switch it up with his secondary, or maybe even like his main character, Snake. Yeah. So. Yeah. That's what it. That's what it seems like. Especially like if he drops one game, then he's like, "Oh no, nah, I'm gonna bring out my uh, my snake and get to slippery and get to exploding." So. So, uh, so I, I mean, you guys know him best. You know, the game to watch. Um, he did lose uh, in winners, but like he's still standing in losers. So we might actually, we potentially might even see him in like winners finals. So, yeah. but in the meantime, let's see what's gonna be going down. So Corrin against uh, Game Watch, pretty interesting matchup. Um, we're gonna see a lot of mix-ups for sure when it comes to like main neutral. Besides like projectile game, uh, if you notice off the bat, Evan really isn't shooting at projectiles. He's mostly just trying to like close out and like keep him close quarters. Yeah. But uh, just when I said that, the chariot got pulled out, and uh, Evan is already down to his last two stocks. And uh, Sebai with three stocks in the lead. But he's pretty high in percentage right now as well. He's gonna try to hold on to those last couple of percents before Corrin gets off. Now, Corrin has a pretty hard time securing the stocks. Like, there's only so many ways you can take a stock with Corrin. That back there being one of the most effective ways. But in Sebae, like he has been, the time to survive gets more percentage. Oh, now. he teched that actually. Yeah, that that definitely like nice the tech. tech. Yeah. He would, he would have he would've sure bounced off. Zone. He would have bounced off for sure. But there you go. Gosh, chase him all the way to the other side of the stage to make sure he can leave that back air. This gentleman is not afraid to go deep into the uh, blast zone, but just when I said that, he finally loses his stock. Yeah, that side beat turnaround will catch him landing. And now they're trying to land at the center stage to keep control. But somebody is getting six percent on this Evans last stop already. So you're getting the jabs in, collecting that damage there as well. There you go. Oh, another sequence of jabs. Yeah. Big damage. Jab blocking pop. There you go. Oh, but there we go. Catches the edge guard and the ledge, and that's going to be it right there. Another scenario where he gets the backyard deep on and on the left side of Pokemon Stadium and takes the first match. The sequences from Sebai, especially in those last couple minutes, just the amount of pressure he can put onto you, right when you drop down from him taking your stock originally. And you just having to play off your heels, but him keeping up that pressure, chasing all the way to the other side. And like you said, once he gets you off stage, he is willing to go all the way out in order to contest you off stage. So if Evan is able to keep his character and approach the stage at a different manner, maybe he can bring us back. Well, now there's going to be a different battleground here since uh, Evan's going to definitely do the character switch. And now he's going to be playing as Snake, which is going to be a completely different uh, matchup now against Avi with uh, his Game & Watch. Well, let's see if um, things are going to be different or maybe for the worse for Evan, but who knows? We're going to have to see the more the match progresses. Yep. And just like you said, right after that first game, switches to the Snake. He's having a hard time. There we go. We're good now. All right. Caught him with that dash attack. C4 sitting under him. Is he sitting? I don't know if he sees the C4. I don't think he cared. He was jabbing him. Oh, lands on his There we go. Yeah, misses it. But still not enough. Uh, he's still living off of that up tilt. There you can see Evan Payne really patient here. Uh, he's trying to get in. Nice air dodge. Ooh, there you go. But he gets caught in the down smash, so there you go. Evan losing that stock. Uh, and like you said, not pulling out too many projectiles. Just don't want to be approached too heavily by Sebae. So if he pulls out those names all the time, pull out that C4, he gives him that couple of, like, a millisecond, those couple of frames for a game watch to approach. But just as we said that right there, oh, finally gets up to it on that platform. But even before then, uh, Sebae, uh, Sebae, like, collected so much damage. Just from ledge alone, he got him up to 80%. Yep, Ooh, not enough. Scary. There you go. Recovery from the top. Misses the up air. Oh, but unfortunate SD with the air dodge. And that's going to cost him. And now he's on his final stock. Making him run from that edge guard. And he had to pay full price with his stock. That's always tough to see. Oh, here we go. He has the C4 planted on us, everybody, but not anymore. It's gone. Let's see. Oh, it's still on there. Never mind. I'm wrong. Here we go. Oh, back on uh, Evan once again. Nope, oh, back on Sebai. You can actually see it transition from character to character. There we go. Oh, yeah. 
Nice, option, C4 out. Ooh, okay, he's trying to get, catch him with the jab, but doesn't uh, find that opportunity. Go, ooh, but he catches him with the up air. The confidence in that to read it out and go full on for it because if he had not hit that, Sebae, Game Watch has a good amount of aerial options, so it would have been a response, but well played by Snake to call that out. Here we go. But I'm nonetheless, uh, Evan is still in trouble. He's trying to get back on safe, but he once again gets caught in the down smash, and that's going to be it. Sebae, 2-1, eliminating Evan the Snake. 